All right, there. Okay. Right? Yes. All right, this is laser gnomes. We're testing uh, solder. This is a uh, 6040 rosin core solder standard from Radio Shack. And a digital soldering iron set up at 450 degrees Celsius. Uh, we're using PLA. PLA was extruded at 190 degrees Celsius. And we're testing to see if we can actually just uh, rest a bead of solder on the PLA and then using the surface tension and heat from the tip here, draw that down into the cavities and in effect make a channel which is conductive as a way for wiring small electronics and other things. Uh, as you can see, we've already got a couple of samples that seemed effective, so we're just going to show it now that we've proven it. So ideally we just... Get the bead deposited, and then using the tip, can actually just press it down. Oh, of course now it's not going to work. Bad example. Try it out this one here. So you see the bees dropped into the PLA gap and uh, it's basically hardened. It's deformed the PLA a little bit, but it's, it's basically usable. So I'm just going to keep doing that. It seems to get drawn in easier when it's touching existing solder, so maybe starting it on an easy to get to area and then using that to draw the surface tension of the solder down into the cavity. Cleaning off the tip. As you can see, you can even work the solder on the surface of the PLA without it uh, be being too deformed by the heat that the solder contains. Makes it a pretty usable combination. Another concern now is that the PLA may be mixing somewhat and reducing the conductivity to test that in a second. As you can see, a constant applied heat created a divot and the solder basically fell out. So it shows that the solder doesn't adhere to the PLA so much as just sit on top of it, which is good.
so it is passing current so it should work this solder might be a little dirty when I'm testing it yeah definitely works coming soon